Okay, family. All I'm doing this morning time is I just want to tell a couple stories about your government. But at the same time, this is a, a time that I would like to vent. It, it, my brothers and my sisters, peace and blessings to your day. It's your brother, Jehoshiah Israel. And, and I, family, I, I just, I just want to vent really fast when it comes to your government as I tell these stories about your government. And the first thing that I would like to say is kiss my black ass, America. Kiss my whole ass, America. And you might say, why, why you, why you mad about the government? I'm mad because your government is so damn greedy. It's so damn greedy and it's so damn thirsty for a dollar bill. And you know, your, your government, it got a spending problem. It be sitting up over there. It, 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 it doesn't have any money, so it's just what you do. You just print more money. You just mess everybody up. My question for today is why do the government bail out banks, but they don't bail out regular people? You know what I'm saying? Hey, your government, your president's got to send you a little, oh, let me, here you go, Trump. Oh, let me send them a stimulus package check. Let me get all the poor Americans $1,800. Man, if you was a child, that would probably help you. But if you a grown ass person, they got real bills. That is not going to help you like that. I can't stand your greedy ass government. You don't understand. Let me tell her. Let me. Oh, oh, here go your stimulus check. You 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 make sure you you spend your stimulus check. Your government needs a damn job, family. You know what I'm saying? Why is always begging, family? It's like that. It's like that one cousin that come up to you and he be like, oh man, I'm going through hard times right now. Can you just let me borrow a couple hundred dollars, cuz, and I'll pay you back your money, cuz. But then they don't ever pay you back. That's your government right there. Greedy as hell when it come to a dollar bill. Here go your government. Oh, American citizens, we need your help to, to get, give us money so we can fight in over at Ukraine. That ain't your damn business that ain't got nothing to do with us see what i'm saying you up over here telling us about foreign countries and foreign lands that we would never go to um i hate to say it but 80 percent of all the people that live in america uh, they don't even carry passports so how the hell they gonna care about some ukraine oh 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 it's, in, it's, it's inflation it's inflation we so sorry y'all we oh your gas prices is gonna be ten dollars a gallon Oh, your milk, your milk is going to be $7. Every day, the cost of living. Oh, my God. The cost of living is going up. We got to be so sorry. I can't stand your country. I can't stand this country, family. I can't, I can't stand the fact that your government is so damn greedy. It needs a job. You know what I'm saying? Next time our government be sitting up over there talking about, oh, we need, oh, oh, we need some more money. We, no, nigga. You need to go out there and get a job like everybody else. Could you imagine if we took the, the government's money? Could you imagine? Oh, Israel. Oh, my poor Israel. We got to see it for. We got to allocate for five, six, seven, eight billion dollars. Is you going to fix the roads? No. No. Is you going to give more uh money for the kids? Oh, we ain't got it. We ain't got it. We broke. We ain't got it. I don't know. Oh, but we need more money. Oh, we need more, 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 more. Man, I remember. I, it was last night, family. I was sitting up there, and they sent me a 1099, and that's for like uh, extra money, extra money that you get throughout the year. I pulled out my retirement. The government, I was answering all the government questions. It was asking me some dumbass questions. Oh, what you do with the money? Oh, what you do with the money? How much money did I get from you? Oh, what I'm gonna need some more. Why are your damn government so damn thirsty? Your government needs a job. Oh, we in debt. We in debt. We. We do we think that that's a thirty forty trillion dollars? We thirty forty trillion well who oh, American citizens we need some more money. We we need we we are uh, uh, help 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 we need some more money or oh, we need to send it to Israel I, family I don't care about no damn Israel family I really don't family I don't care about no Israel. I don't care about no Ukraine. I don't care about no immigrants. I don't care about oh 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 they they crossing the border. Oh, you you got some more money? Can you let them come in your house? 
what kind of the family i didn't hear some elaborate some elaborate ass stories and things that you would tell another person i didn't heard that family i did but for the life of me i have never heard your government sit up there and tell us to take foreign people they come from another country family they don't even live here oh 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 america people uh, let the foreigners come into your house uh, man i ain't let nobody into my house i don't know them people they they try to stab you while you sleep why would why the family black people won't even let other black people come in their house like that why the hell would i let a uh, a foreign person come up in this house like that and then it'd be all like, well, 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 we need more money, inflation, inflation. Oh, we so sorry, man. We got, we got a, the cost of living. Oh, we, we got to set everything up. I looked at a piece of paper the other day and it showed the cost of living in like 1925. I was sitting there. I was like, man, I sure wish I lived in that time. So I sure could kick back and it wouldn't be so damn hard like that for me. But your government, let me go back to the story. Your government, who, who, oh, oh, you, 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 you got five thousand dollars, Jehosa? How much money? Huh? How much money? How much money did we get? You, you took, you took eighteen hundred dollars from me. You know what I'm saying? You took eighteen hundred dollars from me, and then they still sit up there and they was asking me all these dumbass questions, talking about what I did with my money, my money, family. Not they money, family. This money, th th this was a uh, this was a retirement plan, family. This was a straight up retirement plan. They ain't got nothing to do with the government. They go sit up there and tax me all of that money, and then I go to file the 1099 form, and then they go sit up. Who oh, you owe more money? You, 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 you owe so you all this more money. I get tired of your raggedy ass government always with his hand out. Your government has a spending problem, family. If I did my research right now, family, they'd still say we in debt, but then they'd still say that half of the money we spend, we spend on the military. Who gonna mess with America? Family, we're not stupid over here in, in America. We're not stupid Americans. We are not. Our eyes are wide open. They sit up there and they talk about rumors of wars and pestilence and destruction. But the people who run, oh, let me turn my blinker off. The, the people family, the people who go to war and the people who run the, the, these countries, they all be talking to each other, family, you know what I'm saying? And they all set all this stuff, this stuff up. They be all like, America is gonna go to war with uh, Russia. America ain't going through no damn war with no damn Russia. America is going to war with China. America ain't going to no damn war with China. It, it'll never happen, family. Rumors of war, family. You think the people gonna mess up with their money? They got their own problems with their own, uh, uh, I, I can't even say pestilence, but famine and uh, living over in third world countries and poverty. They got their own damn problems. They do not want to sink no 10, 7, 20, 40 billion dollars into a war that has no ending, that serves nobody, no purpose. So don't let these people sit up here and lie to y'all like that. Oh, we going to war? You ain't going to war with no damn body. And the only people that you're going to pick on is a little small ass country that ain't got no power like that. Who the hell? Your government sit up there and spend more than $40 billion. It's just a rough estimate off the side of my head. But I'm pretty sure it's up there, family. Four, $400 billion uh, just uh, on Amer uh, America's military. Who the hell gonna mess with America? Nobody, family. Nobody gonna mess with America. Your poor old country. Your country need to get a damn job like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? That your country want to help somebody out? Your country need to bail out the regular American citizens. Who the hell? The people. I get so damn mad, family. Them people up there making all them messed up ass decisions with our money. Sitting over in the bank talking about, oh, we, we need to get a bailout from the, from the America. America ain't bailing nobody out. It's us, the American citizens, who is bailing the, the government out. Who's bailing out the banks out? But when, guess what? When you lose your job, God forbid it, or you come up on hard times, ain't nobody gonna bail your ass out. Where you gonna go to? The bail bondsman place? Oh, I'm sorry, I need me a cash advance till I get my next check. Ain't nobody trying to bail us out, family. 
our people do not know how to run this country. They do not know how to spend money. And they constantly with their hands and your pockets, family. I get so damn mad. Let, let me ask y'all a question, family. I shouldn't have to have 100,000 damn kids so I can get some money at the end of the year, family. The, the, the poor people, they figured it out a long time ago, family. They figured it out. They sit up there and they was all like, well, you know what? I ain't going to work. And I ain't gonna have no job like that in the government. It's gonna take care of me. No, I never be able to own nothing, and I never be able to have all the fly fancy stuff. But at least the governments won't have their hands all up in my pocket. Ever since I was a kid, working, coming up in the world, the the, the what is the the stipulation? Uh, the the less you make, the less they can take from you. But who the hell wants to be poor, family? The, the poor people, they figured it out. They figured it out a long time ago. They was like, nah, nah, man. I ain't even gonna have the government all up in my pocket like that. I just gotta get, I just gotta get whatever the government is willing to give to me. It's a damn shame. I'm not speeding, y'all. I'm going to speed limit. It, 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 it looked like I'm going fast. It looked like I'm speeding. I am not speeding. So I, I, I just had to vent. I had to vent early this morning time and I'm sorry because your government is so damn greedy. How, how can you make 40 and 50 and 60 and 70 thousand dollars a year and then your government go try to see, like, write you a little 500 dollar check but then your government sit up there and took thousands of dollars from you each and every single uh, month. The man, the woman, they made 70 thousand dollars. They ended up in that year's time spending at least eighteen to twenty thousand dollars, giving it to your government, and your government ain't got no damn money. It's always got its hands out. It's always begging us for even more money, and then they want to tell us the most sorry stories. Oh, feel sorry about people in the in the foreign countries. I feel sorry for people in this country. I really do, family. But don't nobody want to be poor. And, and, and I'm finding out that uh, you're not privileged here. The only way that you're, you, can, you can't say that you're privileged to live in this country when you got to work to have anything, family. So it doesn't really make any sense to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're, you're are you, a, you pay, you pay to work in this country like that, family. Does that make any sense? You're actually paying for it, family. It should be a privilege that you be able to build up your own society. But no, it is not a privilege, family. It is not, family. Because you have to pay for it. All right, I'll leave it alone. I just have to get that venting off of my chest. Family, should I, should I have filed the 1099 on the taxes if they was just going to charge me even more money? Should I tell them about it? Should I say, oh, government, I got this money. I, I, I don't want to get out of it at the end of the year, and I don't want you messing with me, so I'm going to tell you that, that you took this much money out the money that I got. That has nothing to do with them, family. They always coming up on the working class people that, that don't fit in those damn tax brackets to where they actually get money. I shouldn't have to sit up here and have a million damn kids just so I can get some taxes at the end of the year. I really shouldn't. Your government should take so much damn money from me so damn thirsty so damn greedy and constantly asking how will I ever be able to build myself up and I'm just an average American citizen if I have your damn government I told you I wasn't speaking see that car flew by me uh -huh. family family damn the family oh we broke we ain't got no money America you need to get a job just like everybody else, you need to get a damn job and you need to learn how to spend your money. Give me your money, I'll show you how to spend it. You, you, get, give me your damn money and I will show you how to spend it and how to save money. My people were slaves in this country. Well, we're a damn show how to tell you. Family, we need to run the government. They don't know what they doing, family. I'm snitching, I'm snitching, family. They don't know what the hell they doing. All right, I'll leave y'all alone. But I, 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 I just get so damn frustrated, family, because I've been working hard ever since I was little, family. And I've been always had these cowards take money out of my pocket, family. It's a damn shame when you can sit up and count hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars that your government have took, took it from you over your lifetime.